TCL 20R 5G Smartphone Review, a good honest 5G smartphone at cheap. The budget smartphone market is getting more competitive all the time, and it's surprising what you can get for not a lot of money these days. A contender for your cash is Chinese company TCL, whose new model brings 5G technology to a device that's comfortably under 200 pounds. Introducing the TCL 20R 5G. For a device with a low price point, the TCL 20R 5G cuts a pretty refined aesthetic. The tall, slim design is obviously dominated by the 6.52 inches display, which features slim bezels and a V-notch area for the selfie camera, basically a small part of the bezel that curves down into the screen rather than a punch hole opening. A metal band wraps around the chassis, providing a home for the volume controls, power button, SIM tray, USB-C charging port, twin speaker grills, although the phone only has a single speaker and the 3.5mm headphone jack. On the rear side, there's a raised camera section that holds three lenses and the LED flash. The only real clue that this is a sub-dash pound 200 device is the thin, plastic back, but that's a reasonable concession and just means that TCL has spent the money elsewhere, which seems the right approach. A fingerprint sensor is situated in the upper third of the rear panel, and while it works well enough, the lack of a raised section around it does make the sensor hard to find at times. Muscle memory will kick in after a little use though, so it shouldn't be a problem. TCL doesn't list any IP ratings on the device packaging or its webpage, so assume that getting the 20R 5G wet will not end well. One thing we do know is that you can choose between Lazarite Blue or Granite Grey liveries, both of which look pretty smart. One omission that's a little disappointing is that there isn't a silicon case in the box. As this is hardly likely to be a huge selling device, not because of quality, but more due to competition and brand recognition, you'll struggle to find third-party cases that will fit. I did take a quick look on Amazon and came across a small selection, but most Chinese budget phones come with a basic case, so it seems a silly thing to leave out. The 6.52 inches display is an LCD IPS panel rather than the AMOLED ones you'll find on more expensive models. This is perfectly acceptable at this price point, and remember that the cheaper iPhones still use LCD, so it's not like you're getting a raw deal. In use, the display is bright, maxes out at 500 nits, colorful, and renders images and text well. In fact, at no point during my time with TCL 20R 5G did I wish it had an AMOLED panel, as this one works just fine. TCL employs something called Ernst Vision on its phones, which is optimization software for the display panel. There are various settings for color and temperature, warmer whites rather than hotter screens, plus a few other options. The defaults all looked good, and it's cool to have the ability to dial in the display to your preferences. Scrolling through pages is smooth, thanks to the 90Hz refresh rate, which varies from 30Hz to 90Hz depending on which you're doing, with only the occasional notable shutter here or there. TCL has gone for a MediaTek Dimensity 700 5G processor in the 20R 5G, which is similar to a Qualcomm Snapdragon 732G and performs well in the budget to lower mid-range tiers. This is joined by a rather small 4GB of RAM and 64GB of onboard storage, although the latter can be expanded by up to a massive 1TB through the microSD slot that sits in the same tray as the Nano SIM card. As you've probably already guessed from its name, the TCL 20R 5G supports 5G LTE, which is something of a bonus at this price. We have seen other budget phones with this feature, such as the Xiaomi Poco F3, OnePlus Nord CE 5G, but they usually tend to cost a bit more than the TCL model. While 5G might not be top of your list when searching for a cheaper phone, especially with 5G plans often being more expensive than 4G ones, it's good to have the option available and you can always just use a 4G connection instead. While the camera array looks stacked with options, it's a little deceiving as there's only one main shooter, with the two others for depth and macro duties. Again, not uncommon. Sadly, the 13MP camera isn't the best. Colors tend to be overly vivid and focus a tad soft. There's also the fact that shots are overexposed, 
resulting in images that are too pale but also too saturated. The 4500 mAh battery in the TCL20R 5G proved quite durable during my tests, with the phone usually finishing a day with 20 to 30% left in the tank. In fact, in our PC Mark battery test, it scored a whopping 16 hours, putting it ahead of its closest rivals. Backslash. TCL states that the device supports up to 15W fast charging, which isn't quite in the league of some of the newer Chinese phones, but again those usually come with higher ticket prices. The same is true with wireless charging, which doesn't feature on the device. 30 minutes of power got the TCL 20R 5G from 0 to 35%, and a full recharge took around an hour and a half. Android 11 comes as standard on the device, overlaid with the TCL UI 3.0 skin. It's fair from the most cumbersome skin I've seen, with much of Android being left alone. You can decide whether to use the newer gesture controls for navigation or if you prefer things old school, then the navigation buttons are on hand. You can order the TCL 20R 5G from Amazon UK for £179, $239.99, as well as Vary and Laptops Direct. It's also available either on contract or outright from EE and Asda Mobile. At the time of writing TCL isn't selling the 20R 5G in the USA, but I did find some other phones from the range on Amazon US, so it could appear in the future. At this price point, you should also consider the Moto G50, Realme 8 5G and Xiaomi Redmi Note 10 5G all of which all cost around pound 200 slash US dollar 250 slash euro 200. If you don't need 5G then the Moto G31 and Xiaomi Redmi 10 are both solid options. Find more options in our best budget phone chart.